Okay, now that we have installed Ubuntu onto a mini PC, let's turn this mini PC into a personal cloud storage using OnCloud. I've done many video tutorials on installing OnCloud onto Ubuntu and Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to copy and paste the commands from my website. I'm going to briefly go through them. If you want to know in detail what they do, you can read them from my website. The link is in the description box below. So go ahead and navigate to uh, my website here. Scroll down a little bit and let's install Apache 2 HTTP server. <clears throat> like I said, I'm just going to copy and paste and hit enter. It gives me a chance to also test that the commands are properly uh, working. Now let's disable directory listing. And whenever the uh, server reboots, let's make it so it can stop and restart. Now let's install Maria uh, database server. This is the only database that we're going to be working with. Once installed again, let's, let's make it so we can stop and restart if the server, uh, when we reboot the server. Let's secure the uh, <clears throat> the server. Enter the following command, and here just press enter. Set root password. Yes. Enter a password. Make a note of that password as well. Re-enter the password, and then remove anonymous user. Yes. Disable root login remotely. Yes. Remove test database and access to it. Yes. Reload privilege uh, tables now. Yes. Okay, now let's restart uh, the database server. Okay, now uh, let's enter the following command to uh, download and upgrade and install PHP 7.1. Press enter here when prompted. Okay, now let's do an update. And install PHP 7.1 and related modules. Make sure to copy the command and nothing else. Now enter the following command and let's edit uh, the PHP INI. Now for me, I put this uh, six uh, lines to edit, but the most important one is the upload max file size to 100 megs, the one immediately on top memory limit to 56 and the time zone, which is all the way in the bottom. So I'll just search for it by typing control W and then enter the name as it appears on the screen and change it to, in this case, 256 megs. Now again, control W, upload max file size and here change it to 100 megs. Okay, once done, control W and search for date dot time zone. And in my case, I'm in the US Florida, so I'll enter America forward slash Florida. You can keep working on the others if you want. I'm just going to uh, control X, yes, and press enter to save. And then let's create an own cloud database. Okay, so let's connect to uh, Maria database. Enter the password. This is a password you created earlier, remember? And now create database called OnCloud. 
Okay, now let's create a user and a password for that user. Now you can change it to something other than the default. Instead of user own cloud and password password here, I'm going to change it to my name. So change it. Don't leave the default there. It's not recommended. So, okay, I put my name and then password. I'll enter my password here. Okay, once done, press enter. And let's grant that user uh, full access to the database by entering the following command. Now, we need to change again the default own cloud name or own cloud username to the same name you enter right uh, above. So in this case is Miguel. So I'll enter Miguel and then change where it says password here. The exact same password you enter on the command above. Once done, press enter, then flush privileges and exit. Okay, I'll clear the screen here and install the latest version of OwnCloud. At the time of this video, 10.0.8 is the latest version. In case of a new release from the command, just change the 10.0.8 to the latest version. Then hit enter. Okay, once done, let's unzip it. Let's move OwnCloud to the HTML directory. By mistake, I copied the command and left the S out. So make sure to copy the entire command and hit enter. Now let's set permissions to the uh, HTML OwnCloud directory by entering the following commands. These commands will allow us to edit, modify, or execute anything inside of that directory. Okay, now let's edit the onclot.conf. Okay, now copy and paste this uh, block of text where it says avoiderrors.com, www.avoiderrors.com. You can edit it to something other than that. For example, the IP address or the LAN IP address of the uh, own cloud server, or you can change it to whatever you want. This is not critical. So I'll just copy and paste it. Just because you haven't modified the, the uh, server name or server al alias, that doesn't mean you won't be able to connect. You still are going to be able to connect. Once done, press Control X, then Y, and Enter to save. Now let's en enable OnCloud and rewrite module. I'll do this a little fast. Every time you enter a command, it's going to ask you to restart, but enter all the commands or execute all the commands. I'm sorry, and then at the very end, then restart. Okay, upon restart. We will need to access our own cloud instance from the LAN. First, we'll need the IP address of our server. So type ifconfig and hit enter. In this case, I need to install NetTools. So enter the following command, apt install NetTools. Keep in mind that if you need to access your own cloud from the WAN or outside of your network, you would first need access to it from the LAN. It's critical. If you don't have access to it from the LAN, you'll never have access to it from the WAN. Our IP address is 10.0.0.163. Write it down or make a note of it. Once done, we can access our own cloud instance um, from another computer inside of the same network 
or from the same Ubuntu PC you have on cloud installed. I'm using a different computer in the network and I'll enter 10.0.0.163, the IP address, forward slash on cloud and hit enter. Once here, create an admin account. Now underneath of that, where it says database user, database password, database name, we will enter what we created earlier in our, um, when we were configuring our database. Remember? So it'll be Miguel, the password for that user, and OwnCloud, which is our database. Then hit Finish Setup. Re-enter the account you created, re-enter the username and password, and you'll be able to log in to your OwnCloud instance without any problems. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.